yourself. And somehow, instead of, of uh, evolving into a more and more uh, complex and usable and social environment, the internet and social media in particular has become perhaps the greatest threat we've ever seen to individual cognition and collective coherence. It really is. It is, it is unsettling. It, is, it, it, it creates a sense of disease in us. And again, I'm not anti-tech. I'm just anti-certain applications of tech. You know, you think about the, those early BBSs that we used to play with, things like The Well or Usenet groups, and the way they were used was the internet was a, was a thing. It was a specific place. I mean, some of you aren't old enough to remember, but there were these things called modems, which you'd plug your computer into a modem and the modem into your phone line. You were connecting one multi-billion dollar telephone industry with a multi-billion dollar com communication or computer industry through this little thing called a modem. So you would, pl you would turn on your computer, pr plug it into the modem, you would dial in to a uh, uh, something, you know, a CompuServe or AOL or some, or, or the well. You would dial in, you would download the conversation that was there, you would unplug from the modem, you would then read the conversation overnight in your own time. You would think about how you were going to craft a response. You would then write your perfect paragraph where you sound like Christopher Hitchens, you know, you, because there were important people out there might read this. Then you would, you know, go back on the computer, plug it in, you know, go back online, tell it to the thing, upload your thing, stick it there. It was like chess by mail, and you'd wait two or three days to see how people would respond. So it was the, the net, because it's an asynchronous medium, was used to help us put deeper consideration into our conversations and have a higher level, higher level conversation. Well, now we've turned the internet into an always-on environment, right? The internet's in your pocket, buzzing and interrupting you every time somebody tweets about you or sends you a social media message or mentions something or that CNN or CBC or someone thinks that there's a story that's important enough, you end up living in this state of perpetual emergency interruption that used to be endured only by 911 operators. And at least they were paid and they, they took medications to live through it and they only did it three or four hours a day, right? We live in that state Constantly, it's the state I'm calling, you know, present shock or, or digiphrenia, where there's multiple instances of you actually uh, uh, operating at the same time. So we're not using tech anymore. We're not consciously going online to do something. I think the the dynamic has changed from people using technology to technology using people that we are being operated on, we are, being, we, are, we are doing tech to people. And I don't even mean it in, in just the awful way. It's the orientation we have. It's the human is the object, not the subject. The human is the thing that we're operating. 